so we're going to talk a little bit about exit strategies from when we are uh, from our own 22 when we are um, trapped down here in our own end and uh, this the this seemed a little bit odd to me when I first um, got exposed to rugby because I was used to American football and <clears throat> you know there's we don't like that field position in American football but um, it's all about possession right um, but that's not the case in rugby field position is, um, is very important in rugby um, and it's more important than in American football and possession is um, maybe a little less important because of the field position issue so when we're attacking from down here this is a not this is not a good situation because um, possession changes hands very frequently in rugby um, a simple knock-on a penalty a turnover um, the simply means that the other team now has the ball in a good position to attack inside our 22 um, that's not a, a situation that we want to hand over to the other team so when we're in our own 22 we want to get off the field as quickly as possible and usually the most common um, technique to do that is simply a kick and there are several different kinds of kicks that we could use in this situation um, the most common is usually just a simple kick to touch Right? We kick the ball straight out because we are behind our own 22. We can kick the ball straight out um, and the other team will get the line out where the ball crosses the touch line. Now we want to avoid the situation that the other team can counterattack. Um, a a counterattacking team inside our 50 uh, is not a good, a good situation. So we're going to kick this um, well out so that they can't do a quick line out. Um, another option is called the up and under, which would be a really tall kick, high kick that comes down to their wing, or the box kick that we talked about last week. Um, this is a situation where we're going to put their wing under pressure. Um, again, it's not something that we would want to do if they're going to get a chance to counterattack. So this has to be a good, accurate kick, and we need to have good, quick runners chasing that ball down to either contest possession or to tackle the opposing players. That's why this option is usually what most teams do. Now, there are a few situations where we're going to have to run the ball. Um, one situation would be we need to set up a nice kick, right? So perhaps um, our fly half isn't ready for the ball, our scrum half isn't quite ready, maybe the scrum half is in, the, is in a ruck and tackled or something, and so we need a few phases to get set up um, to what we want. So in that case, we're going to go with whatever is the safest um, running plays we have. So probably kick and goes from the forwards or crash balls to the forwards. Whatever is least likely to cause a knock on or a turnover or a penalty. Now there are some situations we are going to want to run the ball out. Um, one of those might be simply uh, the game is almost over. Maybe we're down by two points and uh, we're in the 80th minute. Uh, we don't want kicking to to be kicking that ball to touch because uh, we have to have possession to score. So we're just going to keep running until we get into a position um, to score and win the game. Um, another option might be um, maybe we have the ball in our own 22, but their defense is disorganized. Maybe we won a turnover and they weren't ready for it. That's probably the um, most common situation um, that would justify flinging it out to our backs and having a good run. Um, uh, perhaps that maybe their defense is sucked in um, and so there's lots of space out here on the wings. Maybe we have faster wings or fullbacks than they do um, and there's space to exploit so maybe that's the time where we're going to go ahead and have a nice attack where we pass it out to our backs. Uh, so really kicking is the most common um, choice and usually the safest, but there are times where we might want to risk a, a nice run to exploit some space or because time is up we need to run just simply to get a chance to win. Um, but those are all viable strategies for exiting our own 22.